Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. And for those of the United States, happy, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving weekend. I know I had a happy Thanksgiving week. <laughs> I had, um, this sets the template for what I want to talk about, family dynamics, family shadow patterns, and triggers sometimes, you know, most of the time are amplified over a holiday. So I had um, both my sons and the grandchildren and my one son's wife and my husband and I, nine people, basically mostly here for one whole week in our home. And it was so interesting to me, especially after all was said and done, uh, the dynamics of what shifted, what changed in me as I had concerns coming into this, you know, weeks a long time for a day or a dinner, <laughs> you know, um, and I love my family. You all know what I'm talking about. It was just, you know, what's going to surface. And here's the quote I got from a weekly message from the channel Hilarion. The light brings an ending to the comfortable illusions that were woven into everyday living here on this planet. The light requires a readjustment in one's perceptions. Uh, I thought that was so beautiful because, you know, we tend to think of the light, everybody wants to be in the light, the light's such a good thing. Um, but the true light that emanates the truth of the heart, the truth of the universe, the truth of beingness, um, is consciousness, I think. I'd call it conscious. The more conscious you are of uh, what's really going on on your planet, the more your heart can integrate and, and feel the truth of it all. But therefore, uh, you know, the light reveals things that uh, can be, can we can do a pretty good job of uh, stuffing under the rug. Uh, and that when they do surface, then they're explosions or they're, they're nasty and, and the, the weekend, the dinner, whatever, can be ruined sometimes. So what I observed is changing and definitely a clue to the new reality and certainly to my consciousness, uh, you know, is to kind of like be a light unto yourself. So... Uh, one astrologer looked at my chart and she said to me, you know, you're like the bug light on the patio. You know, people are, are drawn to your energy, your light, whatever they're drawn to. And then zap. And I thought, oh, no, you mean I killed them? And she said, no, you know, the light just transforms them. And so this is, is what I saw taking place in, in my family and um, you know, I felt like this whole week I was on another planet, um, <laughs> that I was in, um, I was in three families, different lives, quite profoundly, quite pro profoundly my own and my two sons families. And, um, there was no, there was only to let things unfold as the love and the compassion and the consciousness of light shown upon this group. So there was many interesting experiences, so loving, so wonderful. I, of course, I felt so blessed. There was not a being that was present that that I could consider in any way uh, not dear in my heart, and I wouldn't want to change them at all. Not really. I mean, sometimes you might say you would, but not really, not the essence of who they are. So this Thanksgiving, I processed and shifted and understood things uh, from my consciousness, from my heart, from my light. Now, I was triggered several times into the old family dynamic. And so interesting, at one time, my daughter-in-law, who uh, Sarah, who I adore, um, I was in the kitchen having a, a little tete-a-tete -tete with one of the sons. The other son joined in. And Sarah said, oh, my God, this family pattern. You're all just like Slater. That's her son, <laughs> my her husband, my son. And I laughed. Um, you know, it took me a minute. And I, I realized I, I so was thankful for that because that drew me back to we this the light is shining on our old patterns. And we have a choice now of how we want to respond to them from our egos, from the eye, or from the consciousness of our heart. So that's how I tended to move through this entire time. My sons are very different. I'm sure they love each other, but they haven't, old, they haven't been buddies, best buddies. They don't talk on the phone all the time, that kind of thing. Um, and I saw a huge acceptance of who each one, other was <coughs> and both wanting to understand the other one, which was an amazing experience for me. We drove 
<coughs> I went with the two boys to an outlet mall, 45 minute drive, and I sat in the back seat. And I felt like a fly on the wall. I was so blessed to hear their interaction, what they really said. And on the way home, they both got into a little bit of how mommy triggers them. And I, I went through the feeling, you know, I had that feeling of wanting to jump in and defend myself, but it passed really quickly because I realized they are responding to an old pattern. And if I had joined the fray, I would have been also. And so I just, it was sparkling for me. And here's the funniest thing of all. Uh, the day before they left, or day or two before they left, uh, my little, uh, the, a lot of them were in this big downstairs room we have with French doors that go out to a patio, and my seven-year-old granddaughter, Blair, um, came up. She said, Nana, there's something going on down in our bedroom. And I said, oh, is it bugs? Because, you know, we live in Iowa, and from the harvest, there's been a lot of bugs I have to keep vacuuming. And she said, no. She said, it's something really different, and I'm, maybe it's supposed to be there, but I, I thought I should ask you. And I go downstairs, and there's big red curtains across the French doors, and I open the curtains, and the septic tank had backed up onto the patio. And she goes, what is that, man? <laughs> oh, my God. It, forgive the analogy, but there it was, all our shit. The light, the sunlight was shining on all our shit. Now, it was in the dark because the curtains were shut. It was nighttime. Nobody saw it. In the morning, there it was. The light was shining on it. And uh, the plumber just left. And they left yesterday on Saturday. Today, I'm recording this Sunday. The plumber just left. It was just a blocked line. It wasn't the whole septic tank. And it was easily remedied. And, and we had to clean up the shit, right? We had to clean up the patio. But now it's clear. It's beautiful. It's bright. And, and I thought, because I'd already chosen this, the light uh, requires a readjustment to one's perceptions. Talk about bringing your stuff up into the light, right? So um, how, where I wanted to go with this um, was to say that, um, I, want, I want to get this right because I want to be sure I, I, I set, said it. Um, I'm not implying we're a healed family at all, I think. Uh, now, though, we are more, I am definitely more welcoming the triggers that our consciousness reveals to us to prevent us from looping back into the shadow pattern, which keeps us so stuck. So take a look at the consciousness of your Thanksgiving this year. And if you're not in the United States, go to Christmas or any Easter, uh, Hanukkah, whatever, uh, Ramadan, whatever your, brings your family together on a holiday for, se for a celebration and the dynamics of it. I, I invite you to open your compassion, to open your hearts, uh, to allow the triggers to come and then shine your light on them, bring them into consciousness and chip them in your heart because then they are healing. They might repeat, but they're going to repeat on a little level and they're not going to have to back up. <laughs> And be so obvious. So you can't change the past, but you can heal in this moment with the consciousness of your light and your heart in any situation. So I invite you to look at all your shadow pattern dynamics with your own family and your own close relationships and catch the magic as we head into the rest of this holiday season in particular. And take every opportunity your light presents you to shine your consciousness and, and create healing. So I also want to say I'm so thankful this Thanksgiving, grateful for all of you who connect with me through the video, through my emails, through Heartlessons, and all the wonderful, wonderful ways you connect hearts with me. I am so appreciative, so lucky, and so blessed. Have a great holiday season. Uh, live in your light and enjoy what it reveals. Take care of who you are. We'll see you next week.